Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I share my journey of learning Kyokushin Karate, the ultimate martial art. I am Bobby and this is my second karate vlog. If you haven't seen my first one, you can actually check it out on my channel or you can actually check out my karate journey so far in the earlier video as well. So let's start off by introducing Dojo Wu. Dojo Wu was founded in 2012 by Sensei Jimmy Lim, who is a fourth dan black belt, who teaches us not only the techniques, but also the philosophy and the spirit of Kyokushin Karate. He is very strict, but also very supportive and caring. Dojo Wu has a few locations in Singapore. I usually train at the Tampanis Dojo, each class lasts for up to two hours and it consists of warm-ups, stretchings, um, technique practice, conditioning, sparring, and cool down. Today's vlog is all about the Kyokushin Ido Geiko practice. Ido Geiko means moving practice and it is a way of practicing basic techniques while moving forward and backwards in different stances. It is a very important part of Kyokushin training because it helps you develop your balance, coordination, speed, power, and rhythm. In this video, See some of the Idokeko drills that I did with my sensei and my fellow students. You will see how we practice um, different punches, kicks, blocks, and combinations while moving in various directions. So before we start, I want to remind you that Kyokushin Karate is not a sport, but a way of life. It is not about winning or losing but about challenging yourself and overcoming your limits. It's not about hurting others, but about respecting them and respecting yourself. It's not about being perfect, but about being honest and humble. Kyokushin Karate is a lifelong journey of self-improvement and self-discovery. So if you're interested in joining me on this journey, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and answer any questions that you might have. All right, let's get started with the Idokeko practice. Ever wondered what Idokeko is and why it's important for Kyokushin Karate? Idokeko is a basic practice that involves moving forward and backwards in different stances while executing various techniques. It is important for Kyokushin Karate because it helps you develop your body awareness, your timing, your distance control, your breathing, and your focus. It also prepares you for Kihon, which is the practice of basic techniques in a stationary position. Kata, which is the practice of prearranged forms, and Kumite, which is the practice of sparring. So how do we do Idokeko? Well, there are many variations of Idokeko drills, but the basic format is as follows. We start from one end of the dojo in a ready stance called Zango Sudachi. Then we move forward in a certain stance while performing a certain technique with each step. When we reach the other end of the dojo, we turn around and repeat the same drill while moving backwards. And we do this several times until we master the drill. We use different stances depending on the technique and purpose for the drill. For example, we use Zengo Sudachi, which is the front stance, for long-range techniques like Oizuki or Maegiri. And then we use Kibadachi, which is the horse stance, for short-range techniques like Yokogiri, which is a sidekick. We use Sanchin Dachi, which is the hourglass stance for power techniques like 
Shuto Uchi, which is the knife hand strike, or Uchi Uke, which is an inside block. And of course, for defensive techniques, we would practice Geran Barai, which is a downward parry. And if anyone wants to try and is worried about these, it's all right. You'll get used to it with practice. The key is to keep your posture straight, your balance stable, your movement smooth, your breathing regular, your eyes focused, and your spirit strong.
well. That was a great Itokeko practice. I think uh, for those of us watching would have learned a little bit more about what Itokeko is. And of course, for me, I feel a lot more confident in my basic techniques as I practice these maneuvers over and over. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and learned something too. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Os.